Hi guys, you wanna know what the best $10 you will ever spend in your video taken life? Is this right here. Go get one, immediately. $10, save your life. Let's get into it. So this is an 18% gray card that costs about $10 American. It folds up like this in this little tiny, it comes with a little zipper pouch, but I lost that. But this is how small it folds up. So, you know, and then just boom, pops out like that. Hurt my chest a little bit that time, but you know, convenient. And what does it do? Technically, it's supposed to help you set exposure, but you can also set your white balance off this. And if you don't believe me, just watch, I will run a test. I have this expensive color checker, it's an X-ray color checker passport video, pretty much the gold standard right now when it comes to color correction and exposure. It also has this little uh, focus guide here and a little white balance card. Now I'm gonna show you how this very expensive thing will give you pretty much the same results as this thing. So you can just keep one of these things in your bag and I'll just show you, I'll just show you. So now I'm gonna set the white balance in my camera and I'm gonna record it on my Ninja 5 so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Here we go. Sorry I had to get so close to my gorgeous face, but the white card, one of the drawbacks of this thing, it's not very big, and in order for me to white balance, I have to bring the camera to me. You never want to bring the white card to the camera because this is what I'll be lighting. This is what the light is pointing at, so I'm gonna put the card right here. So let's just white balance on the professional color checker. So I'll go to my white balance. So I'll pick number one, and I will set the white balance. Hold it up, fill the little square, and set. Okay, so here's the white balance using the x right color checker. And now let's switch to the $10 gray card. So I go white balance, I'll pick number two this time. White balance set, hold up the gray card, any old place, and then press set. So this is the white balance set using the $10 gray card. And now I will use the back, because a lot of people are say, uh, you use the gray side for exposure and you use the white side for white balance. And I'll just show you, there's no difference. Here we go. So this time I'll pick number three. Oh, and it's like, oh, that was set to a blue one, huh? Now we'll set our white balance here, fill the screen. And there you go. And this is the white balance using the white side of the cheap 18% gray card. So here's the white balance using the x right color checker. So this is the white balance set using the $10 gray card. And this is the white balance using the white side of the cheap 18% gray card. And now let me show you how to use this thing for its intended purpose, which is exposure. And that's what's really great about this thing. You can get a great white balance for color correction and you can also set your exposure so that you know the brightness of your scene is correct as well. Now the caveat with this thing is you're gonna need a camera that can do zebras. Now my Panasonic GH5, it can do 50% zebras and that's what we'll set this at. You see, because gray is supposed to measure, middle gray is supposed to measure about 42 IRE when you're looking at the luminance level. So if you can set your zebras to 50, as soon as you see the stripes going across the gray, you back it off a little bit and then you have close to the correct exposure. You know, it's a, it, it's not perfect science, but it will give you pretty much the right exposure. I'll just show you, here we go. Okay, so I'll use my Ninja 5 to record this again, and we will go to our zebra pattern, and then uh, I'll set the zebra. So right there, I have the zebra two set for 50%, and here we go. So I'll start with the brightness too high, and you can see the zebras on the gray card right now. My light is at 19%, so uh, let's just turn that down until the zebras disappear, and uh, there you go. That's it. Now I've set the exposure properly, and we're ready to rock and roll. So there you go. Now there may be some minute differences between the professional white card here on the x right and the, uh, the $10 gray card or even the white side of it. Maybe you'll see a tiny difference if you have really good eyes, but uh, personally I don't see much of a difference. Now I am getting old and uh, also I've been drinking a little bit because you know, it's, it's like midnight and, and I'm making YouTube videos in my basement while my family sleeps. Leave me alone. Stop judging me. So the point of this video is perfect is the enemy of good and this is good it will give you a good white balance. So keep it in your bag. And of course you could always set exposure on it as well, an indispensable tool when you start upping your game in the old uh, video world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, uh, leave a comment or two, uh, tell me I'm a total idiot, I don't care. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So we'll see you again next time, Bye bye